Hey guys, Dave here. This is for the Maelstrom. It's from FASA. I got it at Half Price Books. Normally their prices on used board games and miniature games and so forth are absolutely horrific, but uh, I guess they couldn't sell this, so they marked it down to $14.99. So I figured at that price I'd get it just for the miniatures and terrain. Uh, I have no real interest in trying the rules for this. Maybe one day I will, maybe I won't. But like I said, I just got it for the miniatures. So I'm just going to show you what comes in this box. So as you can see, it includes some weird looking creatures here. These interesting terrain pieces and... On the bottom here, a bunch of infantry. That's what I really wanted. Uh, I figured for 15 bucks, get all that nice infantry. Uh, that'd be a good idea. So, anyhow, let's take a look. Well, let's go over what the game's about. It says the Maelstrom is a cosmic vortex of vast proportions, a realm where the law of physics are warped and twisted into an obscene parody of reality. It exists only to devour and destroy. The Maelstrom consumes worlds within a swirling storm of chaos. Planets are ripped asunder or fused into strange alien landscapes. The survivors of these doomed worlds struggle to live in a savage, unstable environment. Their lives are transformed by the the escapes. The survivors are, are, are transformed by the perpetual battle, sorry, for resources and a never-ending quest for stability and escape. Only the strongest and most determined survive. Powerful forces clash in this war for survival. Growlers, hulking beasts of pure aggression, thrive in the hostile environments of the maelstrom. Their strength and ferocity rank them among its most lethal inhabitants. The mysterious Zyke meld of technology and supernatural power into the deadliest of martial arts. The Union forces of Earth rely on high-tech weaponry and well-trained soldiers, while their neo-Soviet rivals send fierce hordes of infantry and genetic mutations against their foes. These are but a few of those trapped by the Maelstrom, each seeking to conquer, triumph, and endure. So let's see what's inside. Looks like the miniatures are made from Ralpartha. That's very promising. They're a good company. So it's got an order form here if you want to order any other stuff. And here you can order more growlers if you want. I like these little ads that come with these old games. Some of these look really cool, like this, the Ares Armored Suit. That That's really cool. If I ever come across that, I'm going to buy it. Psyche Warrior, that's a crazy looking thing. Neo-Soviet Red Trooper, all this stuff looks fantastic. And here's some more crazy stuff. Uh, Growler. The Growlers, I don't get it. Maybe it's the paint job they did doesn't interest me. Maybe if you made them green or something, uh, like slimy looking, they'd be cooler. But with that red, eh, not for me. Neviet's neo Soviet neo Soviet chem grunt, neo Soviet cyclops, neo Soviet chem grunt three. Eh, I don't like those that much. This stuff on the first side looks really cool though. Here's a scenario book, the Rigus encounter. This one's in black and white. Scenario 1, Scenario two, okay. Scenario 1's First Contact, Scenario 2 is Escape, Scenario 3, Twilight Ambush, Scenario 4, Twilight Skirmish, now it's used, talking about using the battle train, so it's got four built-in scenarios, it's not bad. Of course, I'm sure you can make your own too if you wish. Alright, this looks like the rules, this is pretty thick. A little bit bent up, but what do you expect when it was marked down to 15 bucks? So the inside's all black and white. So it's going over the fluff here. So let's see how far we, we gotta go till we get to actual rules. This looks like this is all just fluff. Alright, creature rules, that's where it starts. Let's talk about the different forces, the union. So they have a little bit of color in here, and that's good. Growlers again. 
That looks a little bit better than that red they were using on the miniatures. This is utterly weird looking. <laughs> the Zyke, that's some crazy looking stuff. Shard. So we still haven't got to like the bulk of the rules, now it's just going over the forces. It's almost like, is this a part role playing game? They're getting so into the different different uh, forces and stuff without going over really any stats, or maybe they're just trying to fluff it up, I don't know. Game concepts, the golden rule, no rule book for a tabletop war game can cover every possible situation that may come up during a game, so it's important for players to be flexible and reasonable when working out solutions to problems, blah, 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 blah. So basically it says to roll a dice if you get into that situation. That's reasonable. It does happen on occasion with many games. I was talking about setting up the game movement. Has this got page numbers? Yeah, so we don't really get into how to play the game until it's page 75. So they put a lot of effort into fluffing this up. Combat. Firing into melee. Moving out of melee. Vehicle rules. Probably won't need those since I don't think it includes any vehicles. I think you got to buy those separate so you can skip that part. And then generic vehicles and scenario rules. Battle terrain table. So they're actually, so far it doesn't look like there's that many r rules. Uh, so the, this is like quite a bit of fluff, but I see here there's a template, so where's the indirect artillery rules? Oh, now they got asteroid fields, so maybe there is more. Earthquakes. Now it's going into campaign rules. Named models. Hmm. Vehicle statistics, tech. I don't know, it feels like they could have just taken, made a, had this book, you know, so you got the main rules, and they should have just came out with like a 15 page quick start rule book, it looks like it could have used. It looks like most of the stuff in here you don't need to play, especially like the vehicle rules and stuff. Um, growler forces. Yeah, they could add a quick play rule book, which just gives you some generic forces to use so you can get started. And then as you play the game more, uh, you learn, you go back to the main rule book and learn the more advanced rules. I don't know. That's just how it feels it should have been done. Elite squads. Hmm, interesting. Right, let's zoom in on this guy here. Neo-Soviet Cyclops. Interesting. And here's those terrain pieces. Paint these up and use them as walls and stuff so they can have cover. Quite a few of them, actually. Yeah, five of them total. That's cool. And what else do we have here? We have two dice and a... FASA product response card. This looks like the bulk of the miniatures are in here. Let's see what's in here. Bases for them. It must be good sized miniatures with that big of bases. Let me zoom in there a little bit better. Oh, that is all the way zoomed in. So yeah, like these infantry look cool. Almost looks like an M16, obviously it's a futuristic version, but got some weird looking monsters here. So I got some generic science fiction rules that I use, so that's why I got this, because I figured these troops would work perfect in it once they get painted up. And it's got some weird sci-fi monsters, those, those will come in handy too. Let's see what's underneath this. Underneath this, you got the big bad guys. So they require a little bit of assembly. Look at the size of the arms. 
here's an infantry man here and here's the size of that guy's arm <laughs> so yeah I'm, I'm, I'm happy I got this for 15 bucks uh, I mean this should work w perfect once I get these painted up for my own generic science fiction games so anyhow just wanted to show you guys this uh, game from the past thanks for watching and if you like the video please click like on it and if you haven't done so already please subscribe to this channel and as always have a good evening